I was put into swimming when I was about six. Uh, my family owns a boat. It's just important that I was able to swim well, and then I just was stuck with it. It's really taking it to the next level. And that was when I first started realizing I had a chance at making the team. Championship final in the women's 100 meter breaststroke. Your top qualifier lane four, representing Seaward Tsunami Swim Club, Lydia Jacoby. Do you remember anything from the race itself? I know when I turned, I could see I was on the wall and um, Lily and Tatiana were still on the wall next to me. She was pushing off the wall as I was turning and I couldn't catch her. And they were close enough that they were like touchable on that last 50, definitely. Here we go, trying to be the first woman to win back-to-back -back Olympic golds in this event. One thing that Lily King has for her is she has had to, in the past in the United States, swim fast in the morning. Lily King is also used to going out and just daring the field to try to track her down, and no one has been able to do it once she's gotten out front. King is behind, Schumacher, there's a bubble in lane four with a slight lead, and then you've got Jacoby, Jacoby up there in lane three, Jacoby challenging Schumacher, we've got 10 meters left, Lydia Jacoby, the 17-year-old from Alaska, is putting on the surge of her career, and Lydia Jacoby is going to win gold for the United States, but Alaska...